What's going on, everybody? This is Brian Mazik. I'm a fight guy, a Forbes contributor, and I also write for heavy.com. And we are powered by Fight TV and presented by Bet Online. And it is time to talk UFC 250 predictions. Been going through every single last fight on this card. All right, Man. we're going into our co main event on UFC 250. And this is Rafael Sunsau against Cody No Love Garbrandt. Both of these guys need to win in the worst way. That's just, there's really no other way to put it. They both really, really need a win. Rafael Sunsau's lost his last two. Uh, Cody Garbrandt has lost three in a row, uh, two straight to TJ Dillashaw, and then he gets knocked out similarly to the way he got stopped against Dillashaw by Pedro Munoz. I mean, you couldn't have gone downhill more significantly or faster than Cody Garbrandt. I mean, he's on top of the world, knocks out Takeya Mizugaki, who just recently retired. Uh, he retired, I believe that was today. Um, he knocks out Thomas Almeida, who looked like he was ready, right? Then he goes and beats and dominates Dominic Cruz to become the champion. Then fights bitter rival TJ Dillashaw gets knocked out. Fights bitter rival TJ Dillashaw again and gets knocked out, even though TJ Dillashaw may very well have been compromised by, you know, the super energy drug he was taking uh, before he got popped. And then he fights Pedro Munoz, who's not popping for anything, hurts Munoz, but gets wild and crazy and gets hurt and knocked out. Uh, Sun Sal's losing fights mostly because he's often too tentative. That's really why he's a very skilled striker, very good on the ground. But a lot of times he loses fights because he's just not working enough. And I think that that's one of his biggest uh, issues. He lost to Corey Sanhagen in his last fight, unanimous decision. But prior to that, he did get choked out in the first round by Marlon Marais. Um, against Garbrandt, he certainly doesn't have to worry about the fight going to the ground and, and Garbrandt choking him out. That's just generally not what he wants to do. I think the major question here is, is Cody Garbrandt broken? Is he broken? Sometimes you can have a loss and it affects you uh, mentally, it affects a fighter mentally, and it's kind of never the same afterwards. And the question is, is that is that what happened with TJ Dillashaw, either the first loss or the second loss, whatever? Is that what happened? Uh, he is a minus 137 favorite for this fight and the Suns has a plus 117 underdog according to Bet Online. But that's the question you got to answer. Um, I think from a technical standpoint, a Sun Sal is a more is a more uh, is a is a little bit better striker uh, from a technical standpoint. Uh, but I think that Garbrandt's faster. I think Garbrandt might actually hit harder. Um, but I know a Sun Sal is a better is better on the ground if the fight were to go there. But Cody's been really good at stopping takedowns and not allowing guys to get him down. Um, I just don't know because I feel like if Cody hurts a Sun Sal. He's going to go wild again and because he, he can't help himself like he literally can't like, um, you know, TJ Dillashaw talked about this and I, I hesitate to, to quote anything Dillashaw said because he's kind of a pariah at this point. But he says the Garbrandt makes the same mistake and he just he just gets involved and I just we just take advantage of it. TJ Dillashaw is not the only person that's got that tape on Garbrandt. You know, a Sun is a very high IQ fighter. And you got to think he's going to be waiting for that same type of opportunity. The thing of it is, is, is Garbrandt going to give it to him? It has he learned, will he be able to stay poised? And I think that actually fighting somebody like a Sun Sal should help him stay poised because a Sun Sal is not going to agitate him. He's not going to irritate him. He's not a talker, you know, like 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 uh, like Dillashaw, even Munoz. Munoz can talk a little bit, too. He's not going to do any of that. So maybe Cody can stay within himself. But I just think that Cody is just one of those guys. He's a brawler and it's going to happen once he gets into that flow of things. He's going to start throwing those hands. That hot headed thing is going to take over. And I think that with a Sun Sal being just a better technical striker, in my personal opinion, I think he's going to get Cody Garbrandt and hand him a fourth loss in a row. Um, I don't think he's going to knock Cody out. I think he'll daze him and sting him a few times and just outstrike him. It's a possibility. He could knock him out. But I think a Sun Sal gets this victory. This is a another slight underdog pick, plus 117 underdog on Sun Sal. Uh, Garbrandt's a minus 137 favorite. But And I, I, I belabored this one a lot. I went back and forth. But I, I'm going to settle down, and I'm going to have the cojones to pick Rafael a Sun, a Sun Sal to get this victory. Um, I just... I don't know. Something about Cody has me a little bit scared that he's um, he's got an unfixable flaw. 
and just simply because he just won't commit to whatever the fix is. So that's my pick there. I'm going to go with a Sun Sal. Hopefully I don't regret it, but that's the one I'm going with. I got on Sun Sal winning this one by unanimous decision.